This is one of the most exciting questions because it allows you to test your analytical skills and understanding of physics. You need to determine which fan throws more air if all the fans rotate at the same speed. The choices are fan A, fan B, fan C, and last but not least, choice D, neither fan. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the answer. Are you ready? I am moving forward to share with you my version of the answer. And if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. As you might be well aware, there are two key factors to help determine the airflow rate. The first one is the size of the fan's blade. And the second one is rotational speed of the fan, which is measured in RPMs, which stands for revolution per minute. A fan with the larger blades can capture and move more air per revolution compared to the same fan design with the smaller blades. And this is exactly what we're dealing with here in this question. In addition, the rotational speed of the fan affects the airflow design. The higher RPM generally results in a higher airflow rate as the fan blades are able to move through the air at the faster rate. As you can see here, the fans A, B and C all have the same design. This is why, given the fact that three fans have the same design but different sizes, the fan with the largest size will throw more air compared to the smaller fans. This is why the correct answer here is choice C. Did you get to the same answer? If not, please share your answer and rationale in comments. I love this question because it really boosts your IQ and improves your intelligence. You're presented with three rows of objects. Each object represents a square and circle inside. You need to select the missing object out of four possible choices. Choices A, B, C, and D. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the solution. I have full confidence that you figured it out by now. And this is why I'm moving forward to share with you my version of the answer. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. To better solve this challenge, let's assign columns and rows to each object here in the picture. We will have columns A, B, and C, and rows 1, 2, and 3. This would allow us to reference objects better. As you might have guessed, each row describes the pattern of ball bouncing against the wall. Let's start by looking at the object A1. This is where the ball in the upper left corner, and it moves downwards toward the middle of the bottom section. And this is where exactly we see the ball in the object B1. After that, ball bounces and moves upward, and this is how we see it in C1. When ball bounces against the wall, it travels in the direction based on the angle of the initial impact. After the initial impact, the ball will continue moving in the new direction until acted upon by another force, such as hitting another wall or an object. Let's confirm this pattern by looking at the row 2. In the object A2, we see the ball against the left wall. Then it moves toward the bottom wall and then bounces against the bottom wall and then moves toward the right wall. Knowing the pattern, we can easily detect the answer now. If you look closely at the picture, the ball in the row 3 moves from the position 1 to the position 2 and then to the position 3. So the correct answer here is choice C. Did you get to the same answer? Or maybe you know the tips how to solve these problems better. Please make sure to post and share them in comments so we can all learn. Here's an amazing problem where you need to exercise your brain and cognitive skills by calculating not just one number, but two numbers. You're presented with the scale, and you see that the value of diamond as well as the sum values are missing. And you need to ensure that scale remains balanced by calculating the value of the diamond as well as the sum. And once you've done with your calculations, you need to select out of four possible choices. Choice A values 18 and 96. Choice B, values 12 and 88. Choice C, values 20 and 92. And last but not least, choice D, values 19 and 94. Take a close look, maybe pause this video to see if you can complete the calculations. On my end, I'm moving forward to share with you my version of the calculations. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. To solve this challenge, let's look at the picture closely to better understand what we're dealing with. We're presented with the multi-tier scale, and the scale has four tiers. Tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 3, and Tier 4. 
scale remains in balance because values on the left side and on the right side are equal and the values are represented by the total of numbers inside of each shape for example circle has number 12 hexagon has number 6 triangle has number 3 and square has number 4 let's look closely at tier 3 to better understand how this tier remains in balance as i already mentioned each tier remains in balance because the numbers are equal on both sides so on the left of the tier 3 we have two hexagons with total value of 12. on the right of the tier 3 we have hexagon which equals number 6 plus two triangles 3 plus 3. so on both sides the total value is 12. this is why tier 3 remains in balance now let's look closely at the tier 2. on the left of the tier 2 we have two circles each circle has a value of 12. two circles would be equal 24. On the left of the tier 2 we have two circles with total value of 24 and the entire tier 3 which also equals 24. this what keeps tier 2 in balance. now knowing this logic we can calculate the missing value on tier 4. because tier 4 needs to remain in balance the value of 12 plus 6 should be equal to the missing value which means that the missing value is 18 and the total sum will be calculated as the sum of all the numbers the sum of tier 2 and tier 3 would be 24 plus 24 plus 48 on the right side of tier 1 which would equal 96. so the correct answer here is choice a 18 and 96. did you get to the different answer? please make sure to post your answer and solution in comments here is the challenging problem by solving which you will boost your cognitive abilities you're presented with five hints and using these hints you need to unlock the code and open the lock the hints are in the digits 248 only one digit is correct and well placed in the digits 845 two digits are correct but not correctly placed in the digits 461 only one digit is correct and it is correctly placed in the digits 592 only one digit is correct and it is well placed and last but not least hint that in the digits 904 none of the digits are correct to open the lock you need to process all the hints and select one out of four possible choices choice a 518 choice b 485 choice c 418 and last but not least choice d 568 take a close look to see if you can come up with the answer i'm pretty sure you're done solving it by now so i'm moving forward to share with you my version of the answer and solution and if you have a better way to solve it please make sure to post in comments as you might have guessed you solve this problem through elimination and i'm going to start with the hint number five because it's the most helpful of all once we've learned that in combination 904 none of the digits are correct we can eliminate two possible answers we can eliminate both choices b and c because both of them have digit four which is an incorrect digit let's continue elimination to get to the correct answer if we look through the remaining four hints we learn that in hint one where digits are two four eight only one digit is correctly placed which is digit eight in hint two two digits are correct but they're not correctly placed and they're digits eight and five in hint three only one digit six is correct and it is correctly placed and last but not least in hint four digit five is correct and it is well placed based on this the correct answer here is choice d five six eight do you have any hints to show how to best solve these types of challenges if you do please make sure to post them in comments thanks for watching i really appreciate you for helping us to become one of the largest youtube channels to help people become smarter increase your iq and help you to pass any test if the content was helpful please click the like button to help youtube algorithm promote this video and help other people to find it faster giving us a like is also a way for you to tell us that you need more content like this and when you tell us we'll make sure to deliver it for you in the future for links to free and premium resources please check the description you can also go directly to our website howtoanalyzedata.net to download the materials i really appreciate you for your endorsement support and patronage of this channel and thank you for considering to become youtube member and considering to subscribe please leave feedback suggestions or corrections in comments and all the best on your journey i'll see you in my next video